Hello, welcome to our April podcast. In our last podcast, we promised to reveal the biggest barrier to change in our businesses. I have a few ideas, and I've invited my friend Gina for a conversation on how to implement the changes we need to grow our businesses. Hi, Gina. Hi, Stu. Happy to be here. Let's talk about change. You know, I think sometimes the biggest barrier to change is that people feel threatened by change. Yes, even positive change is uncomfortable. And resistance is natural. It's how you move beyond that resistance that really matters. So the best thing to do is acknowledge the discomfort, accept that it's there, and focus on solution building. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a lot of my clients are experts in their business. They wouldn't have got to where they are if they weren't. They know the problem and they've worked through the proposed solution quite well. But they're not used to communicating the vision that is so clear to them that they think everyone else should just get. They lay out the steps, they explain the change, they, then they find people still are using shortcuts or they skip steps or they're reverting to old ways, sometimes even finding new ways that can negatively impact safety or perhaps customer satisfaction. Yes, that totally happens. Your team knows the goal is to keep customers and employees safe and satisfied. But the owner may not have connected those particular goals to that particular change. You need to connect the why of the change to the what and the how. Oh, okay. If, you, if they don't have the why of the change, if we just give them the how or the process that we want them to follow, the new process, and haven't explained how those things connect, the change just isn't going to stick. So we all need to be better and more intentional in our conversations about change. That includes being a better listener. I can coach my clients on having better conversations that link the how, the what, and the why. What more can they do to make those conversations productive? Well, you know, Stu, listening is a great start, but it's what you do with what you hear that really counts. Good change includes three key elements, engagement, communication, and a challenge to learn. But we'll save that last one for another time. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on engagement and communication. You need to acknowledge and build on what you've heard in those conversations. This builds trust. You frame your role leading the change not as a leader who already knows the answer, but as someone who is engaged in solution building. Good change makers embrace the ideas of others. More brains can be better than one brain. Business owners are, are the decision maker, the gatekeeper for innovation and change. So if an owner comes with a solution to be implemented, rather than a problem to solve together, they become that barrier to change because they're not engaging and they're not communicating effectively. Aha, uh -huh. I think we've uncovered the main barrier to change. If we're coming with solutions rather than communicating the why and engaging our team in the change, then we are the barriers to change. Yes, we are. So if our listeners want to know more, Gina, if they want to dig into this, and do you have any suggestions of resources they could refer to? Well, absolutely. I mean, obviously, there's you and I for coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be some future podcasts on change. Yay, our favorite thing. Um, but there's also a couple books that they can check out. One is by Jennifer Mueller, Creative Change, Why We Resist It, How We Can Embrace It. There's some great practical tips in there and some insights into how people operate through change. Another is Simon Sinek's Start With Why, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. Now, if you don't want to read a whole book, Simon has a great TED Talk on the subject and some YouTube videos. Great. Uh, I'm interested in seeing those resources myself. And so if folks, if you want any assistance with any aspect of growing and improving your business, you may contact me, Stu Muir at Prusik.ca. You can go to the website, uh, Prusik.ca. Or you can check our Facebook or LinkedIn page where you're listening to this podcast and leave your comments below. We're really interested in your input in informing our next podcast. So, in Gina? Yes, contact me via LinkedIn. Um, there's also a change page on Stu's website that's got the content. And thank you for having me. Thanks. And thanks for listening, folks. We will have a new podcast in May.